Since around September 2022, there have been a small but steady stream of sightings of M110 semi-automatic sniper systems in use with combatants in Ukraine. The rifles began appearing on the southern Kherson front before the city was recaptured. While the Ukrainian 7.62x51UAR-10 designated marksman rifles are regularly seen, intermittent sightings of the M110s has continued. From the available evidence, it appears that special operations units from the Ukrainian Security Service, the SBU, the Military Intelligence Directorate, the GUR, the National Guard and the Special Operations Forces, the SSO, are the M110's primary users. Units operating with the rifles are believed to include Alpha Group and the 3rd and 8th separate Special Forces regiments, as well as a number of other groups which, from the available imagery, have been difficult to link to parent units. Developed in the early 2000s by the Knights Armament Company in response to the US Army's requirement for a semi-automatic rifle to equip snipers, spotters and designated marksmen, the M110 was adopted in 2008. Based on the SL25, the 7.62x51 rifle uses Stoner's internal piston gas impingement system and has a 20-inch barrel with a 1 and 11 twist. The rifle comes with a quick detachable night suppressor and the initial optic issued with the rifles was a loopholed 3.5 to 10 variable power daytime optic and a few of the rifles in Ukraine appear to be using the original US issued optic. Both the US Army and US Marine Corps have issued the rifle with some variations in optic used and the rifle's furniture. A Ukrainian combatant I spoke to told me, for a marksman, the top weapon, to work at short distances, the PBS system, meaning the suppressor, is standard in the kit. It's quite quiet compared to other rifles. But he did note that he's not part of his unit's sniper group and he's only used the rifle at the range. I tried to contact some other Ukrainian combatants who have shared photographs of the rifles online but haven't yet managed to speak to any of them. Most of the examples in Ukraine have the traditional fixed stock, which was issued with the rifles, rather than the FDE Magpul PRS stock, which is length and height adjustable, which at least some of the US Marine Corps' rifles have been fitted with. However, at least one rifle with a PRS has been seen in a photo, and at least one rifle has been fitted with a Luth AR MBA-1 stock, which is typically used on the Ukrainian UAR-10. Perhaps this was out of preference, or replaced a damaged stock. In theatre, the rifles have been paired with a variety of optics, ranging from the original Leupold 3.5 to 10 power variable scopes, to ATN Thor 4 thermal optics, and even a Trigicon 6x48 ACOG. The earliest image of an M110 in Ukraine was shared by a Ukrainian telegram channel covering news around the city of Kherson. Shared in early autumn 2022, the original post seems to no longer be available, but does show a sniper in a ghillie suit, unmistakably armed with an M110. Early November saw Ukrainian operators share numerous photographs from a range session where the rifle can be seen fitted with an ATN Thor. December saw more photos shared of what is likely the same rifle, now equipped with a Trigicon 6x48 ACOG. More photos of the same rifle fitted with the ATN Thor were posted by another operator in mid-November. Bravo Group shared a photo featuring an M110 in early December. Around the same time, the FSPETS Instagram account shared a number of winter range session photos with an M110 visible. The same account shared a photo of three M110s in transit cases. Two of the rifles don't appear to have their suppressors fitted, though these may have been just removed for cleaning. The cases also show slings, various models of bipod, and two have three mags apiece stored in one of the case's slots. As mentioned earlier, one of the rifles has a PRS stock. In late January, a Ukrainian operator shared a montage video with a short clip of a range session with the M110 fitted with a 6x48 ACOG. A Japanese volunteer with the International Legion shared a photo of a scopeless M110 with his cat on the 27th of January. At the end of February, an M110 with a Luth AR MB81 stock was shared. The same operator shared some new photos of the M110s in March. The rifle with the Luth AR stock is seen again in a photo with a logo of a group called Neptune. And most recently, a second photo shared on the 17th of March, we can see a pair of M110s 
one without its suppressor fitted. How many M110s are in use in Ukraine remains unclear, but from a survey of the available imagery, it appears that the number is relatively small. Multiple individuals have shared photos of what appears to be the same rifles, no doubt because of its notoriety and as a relatively rare weapon in the theatre. Sources suggested that the rifles were available on a first-come, first-served basis when they arrived during the second half of 2022, and since they arrived they've been seen in various configurations and with numerous different optics mounted. If you found this one interesting, check out our earlier video on the MTS-566, one of Russia's analogues to the M110, which was recently seen in the hands of a Wagner sniper in Bakhmut. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you found this video interesting. My thanks to the guys at Shrieking Delilah over on Instagram and Abraxas Spa on Twitter for their help with this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Sharing the videos with friends really helps us to grow the channel and get the word out about the project. If you'd like to, you can support us via Patreon or through YouTube memberships, where we have a range of different perks available, including early access to all of our videos. Thanks again for watching. Catch you next time.